Friends and family, we gather here in this place, in the sight of God, in your presence, to join Kathy and Cleve in holy matrimony. The covenant of marriage that they are ready to enter into is an honorable estate instituted by God and signifies to all the mystical union that exists between Christ and his church. Marriage is not something that we enter into unadvisedly, but rather we enter into it with reverence, discretion, and of course with the blessing of God. It is into this holy covenant that Cleve and Kathy come now to enter and be joined together this afternoon. take Kathy to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Do you promise to love her, to comfort her, to honor and keep her, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Kathy, do you take Cleve to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Do you promise to love him, to comfort him, to honor and keep in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. Continue to build up one another. Continue to be kind to one another. Finally, the scripture tells us love is committed. The scripture says that love endures all things and never ends. Love endures the trials and tribulations that we face. You see, love endures all things because it is committed to the long haul. And it is with that same sense of eternity that you stand before your family and friends and God here today, pledging your love for one another. And while I can promise you that there will be days that test your patience, kindness, and commitment, I want you to remember that it was your love for each other that brought you here today. So continue to laugh together, continue to celebrate together, and most of all, continue to love each other as you promised to do. Amen.